All right, guys, check this out here. Ginormous condensing unit at a supermarket. This looks to be our, I'm guessing our low pressure liquid coming out of the condenser. That is our hot gas going into the condenser. Right over there we have our mechanical room. And we also have a secondary, much smaller condenser right over there. But we are not working on any of that. I just figured I'd share because I'm standing on the adjoining roof to where my project actually is. Today we're going to replace a heat exchanger in a unit and I'm going to be lifting it with my brand new fancy ladder crane. So I'm going to get this assembled, slap it on my ladder, and then we're going to see how well it works. All right, got the ladder crane all assembled. I got the cable going down to the bottom floor there. And my guy David right now is getting our heat exchanger lined up. This thing assembles pretty easily. It doesn't come with these quick release bolts, as I call them. It comes with actual threaded bolts, which I don't like, so it just takes longer to disassemble and reassemble. So let me set this camera down and we'll get to lifting, all right? Hi right, guys, before I get started on today's project, which is right there, we're doing a uh, single stage heat exchanger on this bad boy today. So just a quick review of that ladder crane. It's not too bad. It definitely is cheaper than renting a uh, crane or articulating man lift every single time I need to lift up a compressor or a heat exchanger. Um, it's a little, I don't wanna, it's a little bit loose in the connections but once you get weight underneath of it, it tightens right up so it doesn't feel flimsy. Um, the other key point is I feel it's safer if you have two guys. I was thinking I could buy the ladder crane and eliminate the need for another guy, but I think it's better off to have two guys, one guy kind of standing on the base of the ladder to make sure it doesn't slip out, and then also to kind of guide it away from the building because when you do lift, you do have to lift kind of close to the building because you're at the mercy of your your, your ladder angle and how far away from the building edge you can push it. But other than that, I'm uh, pretty satisfied with it. I think the max lift that you could do is probably 20, maybe 25 feet, as long as you have a flat building roof ledge or, or at least a very short roof ledge. If you had a, I don't know, like a four foot false wall around your roof, you're gonna have a little bit of difficulty. But like if we go back uh, over there, like that wall along there, that's not even a foot. If you had to lift over top of that, no problem. So 
Anyway, guys, let's get started. Now, like I said, this is our project for today. We're just gonna be popping out this little tiny heat exchanger, popping a new one in. Now, I'm not gonna film the entire process because the majority of the process literally is just taking screws out, but um, I'll probably just be highlighting a few key points, some tech tips, just to, make it, just to make it a little bit easier for you guys out there. Some of you guys who maybe don't do these all the time. But this, like I said, it's the second, third one so far this season, and it hasn't even really hit fall yet. So I expect a handful more of these guys. So let me get to work. As you can tell, got the inducer removed. That came out as one whole piece. There's our burner assembly, gas valve combination. All the wiring on this unit is pretty straightforward, pretty simple actually. This might be one of the easier heat exchangers to, to replace. So I'm gonna go around back and see if I can kick this thing right out of there. All right, as you can tell, our heat exchanger's out of there now. A couple of the really bad spots right there. That's the one that really did it in though. Time to get that one in there. All right, there's our new heat exchanger. Inducers hooked back up. We got our flue pipe hooked up. Just need to get our burner box thrown back in there. Our high limit rollout, sparker, igniter, all that stuff hooked back up. And we should be good in just a few minutes. There's our final product. Inducers back on, burner box, all the wiring is nice and tight and secured. We are back up and running and I'm expecting it to kick right over to heat mode, but we'll have to check that out in a minute. There's our blower. Now for those of you guys who've never done one of these before, when you do replace a heat exchanger, it's always best to remove the back panel and fire it up in heat mode just to burn off all that packing oil. Let me go bypass this Prodigy board or put it in test mode and we'll uh, fire it up. All right guys, well that wraps it up for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was kind of a short little video, just kind of highlighting my new ladder crane and also sort of highlighting this uh, heat exchanger job, which is pretty simple. It's one of the uh, easier heat exchangers to do on these Lennox units, so. Anyway guys, that's all for now. Hit that like button for me. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. And we'll see you on the next one, all right?